Now what is lease? Lease can be defined as the owner of the asset that is the lesser giving the right to use of an equipment or capital good to the lessee in return of periodic installments. Now how is the lesser that is L-E-S-S-O-R will evaluate that whether the lease will yield him return that is will yield in positive NPV or not. So what are the factors that this owner needs to consider? The first factor and the most important one is the cost of equipment. Now when this lesser is buying the equipment, he will pay the cost. So the first and the important factor is the cost of equipment. Now this equipment that he is purchased of which he is the owner, he will give this asset for use by lessee that is he will grant the right to use to the lessee. So what will lessee give him in return that is the periodic installments that is the money. So the second factor is it lease rental? No. No, no, it is not the lease rental. Why? Because this lease rental will be paid in installments. One year, two year, three year, four year, five year. So the second factor that he is going to consider is the present value of lease rental. Now the third factor. Now this lease rental is the source of revenue or income for the lesser. And when there is revenue, there comes the tax. Now tax that will result in outflow. Outflow that is outflow in years. That is first year, second year, third year as in when he is going to receive the lease rental. So this tax will make him to evaluate the present value of tax on lease rental. That will be outflow for him. The fourth factor that he is going to consider is related with depreciation. Now he is the owner of the asset. So this asset is, re is reflected in the asset side of the balance sheet. So on this asset what he is going to claim is the depreciation. Depreciation as per the life of the asset. That is depreciation in the first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year and so on as per the life of an asset. But this depreciation will give him an additional advantage that is the tax shield, that is the tax benefit. So what he is going to consider is the present value of depreciation tax shield, that is the fourth factor. Now the fifth and the last one, this asset will have the salvage value that is at the end of the life of the asset say for example in this it is eight years so at the eight at the end of the eight year there will be the salvage value which he will he can get after selling that asset so that value is after eight years what will be its value today so we will have to calculate the present value of the salvage and this present value that is of lease rental, depreciation, tax shield, depreciation, tax shield and the last one of salvage, this present value will be discounted at which rate? That is the required rate of return, that is the weighted average cost of capital. You can see the video on WACC also. So this all these values will be discounted at KC, that is the required rate of return. So we come to five points that the lesser will evaluate. The first is the equipment cost resulting in the outflow. The second present value of lease rental income inflow, present value of tax. So it will result in outflow, present value of depreciation tax shield, that is the benefit inflow, present value of salvage inflow, so two outflow and three inflow. And discounted at KC, that is the required rate of return. Now if someone asks the lesser that what is the minimum rent that you should charge 
so that you are in no profit, no loss situation. Or my, I must say that the break-even point. So what will be that break-even point at which the lesser, the owner of the asset, is at no loss, no profit? So when while calculating the NPV of the project, that is NPV is equal to these five factors, then he will assume this NPV to be zero, then he will find that lease rental that he should charge. So this was all about the factors that